Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, a short TA update on the beautiful Monday morning, the 27th of March, almost the end of the month. So, of course, looking at the weekly close, looking at the monthly possible close, uh, but also talking about some really interesting news that I read, and I didn't see it in the mass media yet, which is really strange because that is going to change the whole world when it comes to um, finance. So now let's quickly jump into the charts first. I'm going to go quickly through them. Bam, over here. Bam, over there. As you use, guys, the four-hour chart. Yes, on the four-hour chart. We can see that we are going sideways at the moment. Uh, we are trying to break the 28K level, but we don't succeed in that yet. There's a lot of volume that's against us, uh, but we will succeed in the end, of course. Yeah? We all know that Bitcoin will go up and create new all-time highs. But if we are not able to break this in the short term, for all the short term people that are always freaking out about the short term, then we could fall to the 25K level back. Uh, but if we zoom out to other charts, I will explain it a little bit better. On the four hour, the bam bam is giving or building up long. The long signal was there. And uh, we can see the blue and yellow uh, disappearing, green appearing. The white line is going to point upwards. The blue line is above. So that would be a quadruple confirmation when a candle closes above the yellow stepping line. And we are still waiting for that to take that long. But again, it's a sideways market, difficult to trade if we zoom out to the one day channel we can see it more clearly we are fighting that orange line that 28 cable level it's very difficult to break that and if we zoom out a little bit more here to the weekly then we can see something really interesting because on the weekly chart we can see that yes we create a higher low and now we created a higher high uh, the candle the last week that closed yesterday is like indecisive it's like what do we want bearish or bullish we don't know that's why the wicks are as equal as high and low and the body is very small <clears throat> this candle is going to close in six days uh, it's red now because we opened higher than we are now but you know we could see like we always see a very important move in bitcoin and not saying that it's going to happen now but mostly when we break the 200 weekly moving average that red line you break it and mostly you go a little bit sideways but you also retest the line before you really go in the bull run so that's a move that we could see that would mean that we pull back to around let's say 26,000 US dollar per Bitcoin before we try to break that 2930k level again. Now, uh, in the monthly, guys, yes, very interesting as well. Um, we can see that that candle is going to close in four days and 21 hours. If we close that monthly candle above that red line, the 200 weekly moving average, in four days and 21 hours, that is very, 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 very bullish. Look back to the left, look back into the history. Every time when a candle touches that red line and then we close above it with a green, bam, you go up. Every time, this is a very important moment in Bitcoin history, is this candle going to close above that line? And even more important to see for you so that you zoom out, these are the monthly candles, guys, um, is the RSI on the monthly. I put on this green line on the bottom of the RSI now, so you can see that green line. Every time when we touched that green line or went below that green line in the history of Bitcoin, in the full history of Bitcoin, we have seen Bitcoin reversing upwards, building a new trend, months to come, only up. Yes, volatile days, volatile weeks, but the monthly chart shows that we will only go up. And look where we just were with the Bitcoin price and that green line on the RSI. We went down below it for a couple of months, almost a whole year, and we are coming above it now. We are even crossing that yellow line now. Now look to the left in the previous two bull cycles, what happened when we came above the green line, I'm going to draw, and crossed that yellow line. That was months upward movements, guys, all the way to the 2017 bull run top. Here again, we were there, then we crossed that yellow line, we had months of a bull run, guys, all the way to the 70k top. Here again, we were down below it, we are coming above it, and we are crossing that yellow line. What do you expect from Bitcoin? I expect months to come a beautiful bull run. And yes, that will take, in my opinion, all the way into 25 August. 
Now, as you know, I have some uh, Twitter issues at the moment. Uh, I, the verification is not, it was there and it's gone again. Maybe it will come back again. But uh, in the meanwhile, I'm also on Nostr, guys. And Nostr is that new improved version of Twitter uh, that's completely decentralized, where you can really verify your own account and nobody can make a copy. So scammers, I don't have the possibilities to use my name to scam people because you have a public Nostr address. If you want to follow me there, um, you can scan this QR code over here or just go to Nostr and I will uh, post my link link over there as well now um, this is a beautiful way of adoption of Bitcoin and social media because everyone that is on Nostr and has tied their tipping address or their wallet to Nostr I can send Satoshis and I have been sending Satoshis I've been sending 10,000 Satoshis to 100 people in the last couple of weeks because I want to prove that the power of Bitcoin and social media is massive because then we are skipping the banking system, we are skipping the governments, and they are never being able to stop us. We just need a Nostra account and a Bitcoin wallet, and even a store if that has Nostra account, I can pay whatever I want every time again with my wallet. So um, do check Nostra. Now let's quickly jump into some more interesting charts um, that will make your day to day again. Bam, over here. This is the first one. A beautiful glass node chart and um, this glass node chart is the showing you the bitcoin supply that has been active longer ago than 10 years so means not being active already for 10 years and longer in total at the moment we just created a new autumn high two million six hundred seventy eight thousand addresses haven't been active for over um, 10 years guys so that means people are huddling people finally start to understand that they should huddle bitcoin not sell and trade and do all too, too much stuff with it because you lose often just huddle 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 now people start to understand also if we look at how many bitcoin addresses hold one bitcoin or more new all-time high we have now 998,000 bitcoin addresses holding one bitcoin or more almost a million addresses that hold more than one Bitcoin, which means that more and more people start to understand that they just need to hold all the Bitcoins in one address and more and more people get access now to Bitcoin. Of course, these numbers are gonna drop down really hard when Bitcoin goes to 100K or $1 million per Bitcoin, because then I don't think 1 million will be able to hold that one Bitcoin because most people will be selling and taking profits. But again, it's at the moment a new all-time high. Bam, another chart over here. I didn't even check if my face was on the right place. Um, yes, it is kind of um, the Bitcoin number of addresses that is sending to exchanges. So we can see we are creating a low over there. There is almost no Bitcoin addresses anymore that are sending to exchanges. People are huddling in their cold storage beautifully. They only send to exchanges when they want to take profit. And they all know that they want to take profit in the top of the bull market. And we all know that the top of the bull market is going to take another one to one and a half years. So there is no use case for them to hold the Bitcoins on an exchange, but they hold it on their ledger or any other uh, hardware wallet. And by that, um, they strengthen Bitcoin because there is no selling power or selling pressure over there now. Hope you understand it. I know I'm talking fast, but I want to go through two really more cool charts and also really interesting news um, that you really need to understand because in the bigger picture something is happening that the mass media is not talking about yet and you should understand it now now um, next chart diddy oh my god this one do you remember that MicroStrategy went um, into Bitcoin and adopted to Bitcoin strategy, like put Bitcoin on the balance sheet? From that moment on, Bitcoin is up 131%. The S&P only 18%, NASDAQ only 8%. Gold is minus 2%, the bonds are minus 16%, and silver is minus 20%. So this is calculated since August 10, 2020 till the March 24, 2023. It was a good step to go into Bitcoin and it would also be a good step for you guys to go into Bitcoin. And why? Bam! Because there is another ultimate that we are creating in Bitcoin and that is the hashing power, guys. Uh, we have never seen so many hashing power active and supporting the Bitcoin. Beautiful blockchain, more than 400 exa hashes. 
new all-time high, 400 extra hashes. Do you know where we're coming from? We're coming from a China ban, China banning Bitcoin mining. And by now, already a couple of years later, we moved the, the mining from China to the rest of the world and we create new all-time highs in the hashing rate. And that will happen again and again and again if the United States will ban Bitcoin mining. We will move from the United States into beautiful other countries that do the adoption. And those countries I do think, I know which ones they are, uh, and I'm going to share that news now uh, in a second as well. Um, in between, there's one more short thing that I want to show you, uh, also very important, uh, is this one. CNBC, um, known for sharing all the bank uh, information and always there publicly, um, they started to delete some very important websites. And I don't know why, but probably has to do with something and the banks and the crisis and the banks and the crashing and all that stuff. But if you look, um, they at the moment deleted the JP Morgan uh, link over there. They deleted the Bank of America link over there, uh, PNC, Trust Financial, Wells Cargo. All of these links are not active anymore. So they are not showing the CD5 data for these banks anymore which is very interesting because CNBC was one of the only places where you could find that information. Pause the video if you want to read the text uh, and take it easy. Now, I believe, bam, that Bitcoin is slowly doing this now. And I think you believe that as well because that's why you're watching my videos. I think Bitcoin is slowly becoming Pac-Man and eating every, when, everything out there in the world. Yes, the dollar. Yes, it will eat the gold cap. Uh, cap. Yes, it will eat the real estate cap. In the end, it will it consume the complete world. Um, I think Bitcoin is going to be the world that I think Bitcoin is going to be the next world reserve currency. And by that, it will increase, of course, their market cap. Uh, you know, there's only 21 million Bitcoin. So the more Bitcoin packs from all the other market caps of gold and real estate, the higher the price of Bitcoin should go. That's uh, offer and demand, guys. Now, now into that very important news that nobody is talking about, and I don't understand why. Now, over here, I should breathe and think some coffee. Hmm. That is the news, guys. Um, the news is the Chinese government helped brokers a deal between the Middle East diplomacy challenges, which means Saudi Arabia and Iran signed a peace agreement. These guys were the biggest rivals out there. They were always in war and fighting. They signed a peace agreement and Chinese government brokered that deal, which means that the Chinese are now being the good guys helping these two that were always fighting to become into peace and even China and Saudi Arabia are talking about exchanging the oil for yuan in the future, not for US dollars anymore, for yuan, um, which means that then the biggest countries when it comes to oil production in the world all will be working together and they call this group the BRICS and the BRICS at the moment is these countries. The BRICS started with Brazil, Russia, India and China and South Africa. That was the beginning. So now Saudi Arabia and Iran are going to probably join the BRICS, which means that that would be more than 50% of the full population of the world which means that would be more than 40% of the complete area in kilometers, square kilometers of the world, and which means that would be more than 25 to 30% of the GDP of the whole world, which means the BRICS, these countries, would be in full control, which also would mean that the dollar will be collapsing, it will be crashing. More people in the world will be using the yuan or the ruble than they will be using the dollar. That is why the dollar is losing its power. Like every reserve capital after 100 to 120 years has been losing its power. It's happening to the US dollar right now. We are just witnessing this major shift in economics and people don't understand or freaking about it. The minute charts in Bitcoin and their banks may be being crashing. Of course, those Western banks are going to be crashing because these huge countries that represent almost 50% of the world's people, they are slowly taking over. Russia, China, Brazil, India, South Africa, and now even Saudi Arabia and Iran. They are in full control when it comes to oil. They are in full control when it comes to economics. They are in full control when it comes to the population of the world. They are in full control in all that stuff. Even square kilometers of the world, they will almost be 30 to 40 percent, I think. So that is a huge shift and you don't see the big media talking about that. 
And that raises a very big question to me because I really don't understand why they don't talk about such important news, guys. Because that news that is massive, guys, and people should really understand that they should exit the dollar, they should exit their bank account, they should withdraw all their funds over there because it's not safe anymore. It's not safe because I believe in Bitcoin. It's not safe because the world data and the world governments don't believe the dollar as well anymore. Only the US and a few Western countries, but the rest doesn't believe it anymore. There's an unlimited amount of dollars being printed every day to save the economies already for years, which has been creating inflation, which is making the people, the poor people poorer and the rich people richer. And all these other countries outside of the West, they don't support that system, that corrupt system anymore. I'm not saying that they have a better system, but I do think they are going to destroy that system. And that makes an opportunity for us to push Bitcoin in there, because I do believe that Bitcoin will give you the power of control on your own finance. And I don't think that these countries are now focusing on storing Bitcoin. They are focusing on creating a new world reserve currency, which would be the yuan or maybe the ruble. And I believe it should be the Bitcoin. Now, I hope you really enjoyed all the information today. If you did enjoy the information, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about all this information, the charts and all that other stuff? I wish you an amazing week uh, and see you tomorrow again with a walk and talk somewhere on the beach, probably. If it's not too windy. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Yeah.